Welcome to Schlossberg. Yes, that is right. I finally given this place a name and I finally created a grand entrance. As you can see, I've built this huge brick sort of structure thingy. Utilizes these half slabs quite well. And I don't really know what it is, but it's got sheep on it, so that's one good thing. I've also add these waterfalls and some trees, some landscaping, and made this whole front entrance just look a lot nicer. On the inside of this big thing, I've added this smaller little grand entrance wooden thing, just to give this whole tunnel a bit more feely feely good stuffy. Um, that didn't make any sense, but anyways, I've added to the dock house a bit. I've added a nice little window up here for the guy or girl when he's working just so they can look out and see a nice view right here I've stuck the shop onto the end of the dock house which is I guess pretty cool just kinda stuck it on there because I thought when they unload the goods into the actual dock house then they can transform transfer them transformers transfer them into the warehouse that is this thing and then sell them immediately to all the citizens of the town. This is the lighthouse which I said I was going to add. It's pretty simple, it's just a library down there and then down here is a living area for the lighthouse attendee. It's just a very simple tower with these awesome views of the sea serpent and the ocean and glowstone to light up the place. Over here I've added this I've added this big taverny restaurant in thingy which is quite complicated because I just kept adding random stuff to it but I think it turned out quite well and I'm starting to add these little window boxes under windows just for looks basically this is the restaurant area it's got some seating area this is the bar here's a kitchen right here it's quite simple quite nice up here it gets more into the end part where there's quite a bunch of rooms they're all very simple and small but that's not too bad because they're practical. Up here is the main room where I, get, I guess it's either like the main suite or where the owner of the place lives. It's quite cool. It's got a nice library working area, beds that have lots of natural light from this tower, and an eating area with a big bay window, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I thought this tavern turned out quite well, and I like how it's super asymmetrical because I think that asymmetricalness adds a lot of dynamicism to the building which is great I've added these wells all over the place as a source for water and this is a still to make stuff for the tavern if you don't know what a still is it's just like this small kinda brewery so that's pretty cool this is the first residential area and I'm thinking about making all the houses in this style just kind of small and tucked away into the mountain. And to access them, you have to walk across these like little bridges that are just kind of like half slabs that are just up against the mountain. So you walk across those. And I think inside of the mountain is going to be a meeting area for all the housing pl district places, which will be one of the main entrances to the tunnel. Over here I've added a blacksmith, which is right now my favorite building in the whole city. And I've used this brick roof, which I think looks quite nice in this texture pack. I've looked at it in default and it kinda looks eh, not very good. But that's alright, because I'm in summer fields and I'm not gonna be playing in default, so default can just go and cry. Anyways, I've added some window boxes and I made this place kinda simple, but it's got these cool overhangs and these Oh, chicken, 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 look at that chicken, beautiful chicken. Anyways, it's got these window boxes and these kind of overhanging parts. Oh no, oh no, he didn't. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Thank you, thank you, man, thank you. Eggs are good. Eggs are healthy for you. Eat eggs in the morning, they're good for you. So anyways, there's this forge, and then there's this anvil, which you can whack hammers. What was that? Ah, oh, the chicken. And then there's this trough, which is uh, an essential part of a blacksmithery, I guess you could call it. Anyways, this is the inside. This is the practical side of the whole building, because it's got furnaces, working tables, work... Nah, crafting tables. And then these uh, storage places. It's just got a simple ladder up to the top where there's more storage. 
bookshelves, bookshelves, and bookshelves, and then a workspace office sort of thing. This is a day bed. I think it's mostly used in Scandinavia, where you can just kind of chill out on it during the day. And at night, you can be up in this loft sleeping, which is pretty awesome because along with rope bridges, I think lofts are some of the coolest things architecture, or I guess just civil engineering building has ever made. So that's pretty sweet. I really like the like, like the blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to speak English. I really like the look of this blacksmith. And, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I'm liking the brick roof. So, these are the main and only updates so far. Hope you liked them. If you have anything to say, comment in the be section below. And if you liked it, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen.